Here's how to understand the limit definition of a derivative. Now, I know you're probably used to seeing this written out with scary math hieroglyphics, but if we look at it piece by piece, it's actually pretty easy. Let's consider a function f and a point a located at some x coordinate, x, such that its y value is f of x. If we wanted to see the general direction this function was going, we could consider another point b located a distance h to the right, so that its x coordinate is now x plus h, and its y value is f of x plus h. Now, if we draw a line in between point A and point B, this would be called the secant line, and the slope of this secant line would be equal to the average rate of change of the function between point A and point B. If we wanted to write this slope as a formula, this would be y2 minus y1, or f of x plus h minus f of x, divided by x2 minus x1, or x plus h minus x, which just equals h. Now, while this average slope is a good estimate of the overall rate of change from point A to point B, we can see that it's pretty bad for estimating the slope closer to point A where the function isn't increasing nearly as quickly. One way to get a better estimate of the slope at point A would be to move the point B closer to A. If we did this until A and B were right next to each other, now our formula would give us the slope of the tangent line at A, which is also the instantaneous rate of change and the value of the derivative at point A. Now getting B very close to A would mean making the horizontal distance between the points, H, smaller and smaller until it was basically zero, but not actually zero. You can't find the slope between two points that are on top no. of each other. It turns out that the way to represent this in math is by writing our slope equation as a limit where h approaches zero. And this is what ends up being the same thing as the limit definition of a derivative. But enough about the theory, what if we need to do this for an actual homework problem? Let's consider using the limit definition to find the derivative of 3x squared. The first thing we're going to do is write our f of x as 3x squared, which means that f of x plus h would just equal 3 times x plus h squared. Now we plug these into our limit formula and see if we were to just set h equal to zero right now, we would get 0 over 0, which is bad. When this happens, it means we need to do more work and try some algebra tricks first. We can kick things off by first expanding the x plus h squared to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now we distribute the 3 and then cancel out like terms. At this point, we can also factor out an h from every term on the top, which will end up canceling with the h in the denominator. Now when we set h equal to 0, we're no longer dividing by 0. And this gets us a nice answer for the derivative, which is just 6x. Spoiler alert! This is the same answer you get for using the super simple power rule on a polynomial, which will also just give you 6x. Don't ask me why they make you learn the hard way first. It's supposed to build character or something. Whoa. And there you have it. That's how to understand the limit definition of a derivative. Nice!